Live. Man, I'll tell you what, page three. Man, I thought page two was bad. Page three is really challenging, but somehow I'm getting it done. But yeah, there it is, man. Yep. Have you ever drawn an M16 before? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, I, I really... I don't know if you've ever drawn an M60 before, but I really challenged myself. I was showing this to my friend. He, he said it looked cool, though. He liked that. This guy is pretty cool. It sucks to make a cool character just so you can kill him. I almost want to keep him around, or maybe I'll just, maybe I'll, you know, he'll show up in some backstories or something. But uh, he's part of a, of a whole clan, basically. Of people like him though, so I can draw plenty more guys like him, I suppose. But he's so he's pretty cool looking. But this 60 cal man, oh my god. It doesn't look too bad though. The, the sights. There's the sights. Yeah, there's the uh the eject, you know, where the bullet I think the bullet ejects out right here. The action. I had to re- you can see, like, right here. There's the line for the camera. I had to redraw his entire foreline, forearm and hand, and it's a little, eh. But, you know, it's, it gets the point across. It's getting the point across. I just thought I would show. I, would, I didn't stay up very late last night. I kind of uh, draw, like, basically, it took me an hour to draw the sum 60 owl. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, then by the time I just the amount of focus and concentration needed to keep everything in place, and plus I had to go through tons of Google images, and I finally found some really good ones, some really big ones that were blown way up, so I could see, you know, the parts I was looking at like this big, like right in my face, basically. And uh, but it's it is coming together, and then, oh, so I crashed, but then I got up early this morning and I. It started. I just was like, well, I might as well just. I was really afraid, man. I was really afraid to start making this, man. I was like, oh my God. I was like, what did I do? <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> and this is, so this is what you do in comic books. You uh, make a problem for yourself and then you solve it, I guess. I'm starting to realize that's like the whole process of uh, making comic, comics. And But there it is, man. The M60. The uh, much dreaded and feared M M60, and I don't mean just by in war. I mean like having to try to draw an M60, like this part right here in the picture. It's the handle, but it wasn't coming across clear clearly in the picture. I thought it was part of the where the barrel meets in with the, this whole. Uh, forget what you call that, where the action is and everything that. This, what was that part of the gun called? I can't remember. But uh, so I thought it was like these weird, like I thought these these right here were like a beaded weld or something. You know what I mean? I literally started. I had it drawn that way, so it's kind of a good thing I didn't start inking it. Then uh, I, when I woke up and I started inking it, I was really, you know, I, I had a fresh look at everything and I was looking at the picture and then in the photo. I was like, oh, that's the handle popping in, you know what I mean, in front in, in front of everything else. So I had to really distinguish the handle better than even in the photo, you know what I mean? But there it is. Yeah, that's that handle comes down here and comes over, and then there's like a hinge, you know what I mean? So it can pop up or down, you know what I mean? And there's even still... There's some little latch lever thing <laughs> sticking off right in here somewhere. And I thought this was a charge handle, but it's not a charge handle. I don't even know what it is. It might be a charge handle, but I don't know what else it would be. But anyway, uh, it just doesn't, it looks like it's locked in place. So I don't think it's a charge handle. I don't know what it is. But somewhere in here, there's like a latch lever thing sticking 
the photo. I don't even know what it is. So I, I gotta gotta look at things from like from like multiple angles, and then not every M60 looks the same. It's like there's aftermarket parts or something on some of them. It's so it's just like you know whatever. There was a good 3D model of one. I found later that was very simplified and still looked pretty cool and I should have, but it was too late. I already started, I already had this whole thing penciled out. So I was like, Oh, it's too bad. And it was, and the guy had pretty much every angle that I could possibly need. He had it put up. It was a 3d model, very well textured, very well done on and on and on and on. But uh, yeah, I am getting it done the way I said I would. So here it is, man. It's page three. Page three coming together well here. I need to, uh, you can't hear me a lot of times when I have this up in the, but yeah, page three. Coming together, coming together. Should be done by tonight. And then I'm going to, I have some touch up things on page two. And then I'm going to scan them, and I am so close. Then it's one more piece of art, and it's going to be a bad guy. I have to draw I have to draw one of the bad guys. It's either going to be the uh, Nephilim Queen, or it's going to be – I think it's going to be the Nephilim Queen because uh, Nebu, Nebulord does not make an appearance in this issue. And i got to start drawing his soldiers, his dark – the dark armies. And, uh, yeah, but for this episode, the queen is who appears and I won't get into it because I don't want to reveal every single thing about my, uh, issue number one, because then, you know, you won't, there'll be no mystery. So, th so after I get this page done, which is probably tonight and then just kind of touch things up, I'm going to scan things and do whatever I want, uh, um, Computer, uh, I'm gonna, you know, you know, I'll I'll clean some things up and maybe change some things slightly, just because it's very easy to do that digitally. But things are gonna pretty much be the same. Then, but as I was saying, one more, uh, one more um, drawing. I, I I need to throw some the bat some bad guys, some monsters. So probably the queen and some demon, you know, Nephilim creatures or something like that. And then I'm going to make a commercial. I'm going to make a little two, two and a half minute uh, video with a pitch. And uh, the pitch is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I already got that planned out and uh, some music. And uh, so that'll be five pieces of art and a video for an Indiegogo. So it is getting there. It is getting there. And I'm going to have to get a hold of my letter probably on Facebook and tell him, hey, I'll pay you some money. I need you to do some lettering on these new pages. And, uh, you know, it's coming together. Not quite as quickly as I want, but that's mainly because life is getting in the way. My life is getting in the way as usual. And, you know, I'm doing this for free as it is right now not getting paid so any chance i have to like go help somebody out makes make some money and i still am uh helping get my house to the downstairs together to rent out an apartment or not an apartment but basically a roommate uh down who's but they 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 it's almost like an apartment because they get their own space downstairs and they have a kitchen bathroom everything and I have my own kitchen bathroom up here. So we basically have our own apartments, but it's still a roommate. I'm not, I'm not zoned for, for apartments, you know, for having, for an apartment. I, I basically am an apartment. So I'm basically, what all it is, is a roommate, but I advertise it to them as a, an apartment because basically uh, they, we don't ever have to even see each other if we don't want to. So I uh, just keep the downstairs hallway doors closed and then all, and it's then it makes it basically like two apartments. There's a hallway, 
they have their own back exit. I, I have my own. If they don't use the hallway, we'll never see each other hardly so outside. So uh, that's that. So I'm getting my. So I have other things to do is what I'm trying to say, or I would be doing this even. These pages would have been knocked out a while ago. And then once uh, the tenant moves in, who uh, which I, I have a tenant who's already planning on moving in, uh, I'll be able to, you know, basically I won't need a job. <laughs> this place is not that expensive. I won't need a job. So that means I can do comic books full time. Uh, you know what I mean? I want to do, a, you know, I'll, I'll still probably do other things, but I will have more time to devote to this. But as it is now, and this that's starting in like March, I think, March or April. So another another couple months from now, uh, this person, this tenant's going to move in. They're, they're uh, you know, getting everything together and planning it all out. It's, they're not, they, don't, they can't just move in right away. I'm already seeing some small problem areas that I need to clean up, but Generally, this thing's looking cool. I don't know how anybody could not like it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at his, he's got his robot eye. Look at that. Look at that 60 cal. Look at all the detail on that thing. So there's that. I just wanted to, I'm taking a break, so I wanted to let people know that I'm keeping my word and I'm getting this done. So until next time, this is Kingdom Comics.